In this demo video, we will be leveraging the power of Commvault Cloud Rewind, formerly Apranix, to restore an entire cloud application in less than one minute from one Azure availability zone to another. We will then log into our application and verify that our user data is correct. Let's begin. Most traditional backup solutions will take care of backing up your virtual machines, data volumes, and possibly your container infrastructure. That still leaves 70% of the components of a typical cloud application without a recovery plan. Traditional backup and recovery does not consider networking, subnets, VNets, and other important cloud constructs that are required to fully restore a public cloud application. Commvault Cloud Rewind leverages dozens of key public cloud APIs to fully automate backup, recovery, and rebuild of your cloud environments and applications. Let's run through a quick demonstration of how simple and straightforward Commvault Cloud Rewind's restore and rebuild processes are in Azure Cloud. Once logged in on the main Resilience Hub screen, we can see a glimpse of all of our cloud connections, protected applications, and our protection status. This is helpful for ascertaining the overall health of our Cloud Rewind cloud backups and the ability for them to be restored properly. We'll start by clicking on the Cloud Resilience tab on the left. We'll be brought to a screen with a list of all of our public cloud assemblies. We have assemblies in AWS, Azure, and GCP. Let's click on the assembly named Open EMR Azure Demo. In the Summary tab, we see that we have 29 protected resources and 13 different resource types protected. Our application's primary region is US, Central US, and the recovery region is US, East US. Scroll down to the resource map, and we can see that our resources are broken down into five sections, compute, resource groups, serverless, storage, and network. Let's select the security group resources under networking. Now if we scroll down, we can see that we are protecting two security groups for the application. If we then click on subnets, we can see that we are protecting four application subnets. Traditional cloud backup solutions wouldn't include backups for these resources, like security groups and subnets. This is Commvault Cloud Rewind's secret sauce that ensures your whole cloud application environment can be recovered and ready in a matter of minutes. Now that we have reviewed what objects we are backing up for our open EMR application, let's restore that application and all of its cloud dependencies to a new region in Azure. Restoring to a new region in the cloud allows us to leave our application in the current region untouched in case we need to do some kind of forensics work, or just allows us to get our application up and running if the primary region goes down. Next, we click on the Timeline tab at the top right of our assembly. Here we see all of our possible restore points. We click on the first recovery at the top of the list. Once at the recovery screen, we can review what our application's primary region is, the region it is set to replicate to, and all of our resources that are going to be recovered. In this case, it's 29 out of 29 resources that make up our full cloud application stack. The green checkbox shows that everything is properly protected. Now let's run a recovery by clicking the Recover button at the top right. We'll enter Open EMR Recovery as the name of the recovery. We want to make sure our entire assembly is selected to be recovered. We can recover specific resources, but for this demo, we're going to recover our entire cloud assembly. Let's make sure we are recovering to USD from US Central, which is our recovery region. And we're doing a cross region recovery. And then all we have to do is click the Recover button. Now we just have to verify that we want to recover our cloud resources by typing Recover and we're good to go. We'll be taken back to the summary screen for our assembly, and then the recovery should take about 30 seconds. Once the green check mark appears under recovery status, the recovery is complete. Our recovery is now complete, and now we can test our recovered application. Let's head into Azure Cloud and make sure that our application is running and all the data looks good. Here we have a list of resource groups in our Azure Cloud account. Let's scroll down to the Open EMR resource group. Once in the Open EMR resource group, scroll down to the resources and select Open EMR web app. Let's click on our web app. Here, let's click resource groups. We'll refresh this. Now let's look for our Open EMR recovery. And here it is. We click on this. Now notice that our recovery is running in US East, whereas our original application was running in Central US. Now let's test the application by navigating to the IP address and making sure that it comes up. Let's scroll down to the Open AMR app under our list of resources. And we can see here the location is East US. It did recover in the proper zone. And now if we click the public IP address, this takes us to our running application. Now we can log in, and we're logged into Open EMR. And we can see here that we have our user data, and it should be an exact mirror of the instance that we recovered from in the other AZ. So notice that we didn't have to do a single thing beyond the initial recovery to make our cloud application work. There were no scripts to run, no code to write, and no other teams to wait on before running the restore. So we have just recovered a cloud-native web application and all of its cloud resources to a different region in 30 seconds. We didn't have to worry about our subnets, resource groups, virtual machines, or network configurations. This is just an example of the speed and simplicity that Commvault Cloud Rewind can bring to your backup and recovery strategy. 
Now that our backup and cloud administrators don't have to worry about maintaining complex recovery scripts and procedures, and they can focus on things like business continuity strategy and improving business processes in the public cloud. And this concludes our demo. Thank you.